still serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. I thank God for the reading of his holy word. Amen. So if you will, I would like for you to turn to the person next to you and say, neighbor, oh neighbor, there's a possibility that we may have been a little stagnant in the past and maybe even at the present. Neighbor, oh neighbor, things have happened, things are happening. Which may have caused us, us to be a little stagnant, a little stagnant. Amen. In the past, in the past. And, maybe even now. and maybe even now. But as of today, as of today all, of that all of that is about to change. About to change. I would like to use for a thought or subject this morning getting ready to continue. All right, all right. Getting ready to continue. Let us pray. Dear Lord God, my heavenly Father, in the mighty and holy name of Jesus, dear Lord, I come before you, Lord, as humble as I know how, desire for you to come on in the midst. I pray, Lord, you will speak through your sermon on today. Please forgive me for all of my sins and shortcomings. Please send forth your anointing to destroy every yoke that would oppose your word or your sermon on today. And let your word go forth free under the anointing of the Holy Ghost and with power. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. May be seated. Thank you so much. One more time, turn to your neighbor to the neighbor. Yeah. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. I don't know about you, know about you. but I'm getting, ready I'm getting ready to continue. To continue. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> when I look around in the Christian community and the church as a whole to gauge the temperature of the body of Christ at large. I can't help but think of the song. We don't get in the spirit like we used to. That's what's wrong with the church these days. We let the devil steal our praise. We don't get in the spirit like we used to. I just told y'all I'm trying to make out to be alive this morning. We don't get in the spirit like we used to. Church folks sitting quiet and still. Acting like they don't know what the Holy Spirit is. We don't get in the spirit like, ladies and gentlemen, we used to. Am I right about that? Do you all remember? Amen. And that's a secondary theme to this message, to this message on today, remember. Do you all remember when we first got saved? We stayed in church. We stayed on the floor. We clapped our hands. We jumped. We shouted. We screamed. We hollered. We even leaped for joy. Singing, oh yes, the joy of the Lord is my strength. If you want joy, just leap for it. Am I right about it? For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Am I right about it? But now, ladies and gentlemen, that we are living in the last days, uh, how we are finding the word of God to be true. 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 5 say, This know also that in the last days perilous or dangerous times shall come. Am I right about that? For men shall be lovers of themselves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, 
truth breakers, false accusers, incompetent, fears, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heavy, high high, lovers of pleasure more than the lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Am I right about it? And in the midst of these perilous times, amen, in the midst of this unrest, in the midst of this unruliness, even the saints of God, amen, are losing and some have already lost their press, their zeal, and their zest for God and for godly things. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. I don't know about you on today, ladies and gentlemen, but I long for the days of old. Amen. I long for the days when the saints of God, amen, were on fire for the Lord. Uh huh. And had a made up mind to burn all the way to the end. Somebody shout glory. Uh huh. Back in those early days, uh huh, we had a mind and attitude. Uh-huh, that expressed the sentiment that I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Am I right about it? Uh-huh, and no one was in a great hurry to leave the building. Somebody shout glory. Uh-huh, a time when the only time people tiptoed early, amen, out of the service was for a short trip to the restroom. Thank God, thank God. Uh huh. And signified so by uh, tipping the finger, amen, up in the air. Amen. And moving gracefully in that direction. Amen. Those were, somebody shout, the good old days. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen, to leave. Amen. Out early to go to work. Amen. Or to a funeral. Amen. Are uh, always understandable and logical reasons to leave early or you have some type of emergency. Uh-huh. But to leave just for the sake of leaving is disrespectful. Uh-huh. And distasteful. Amen. To God as well as to the ministry. Am I right about it? Uh-huh. And is an early indication of being carnal or fleshly minded and shows a lack of R-E-S-P-E-C-T. -E Am I right about it? Amen. Shows a lack of respect for God and for godly things. Am I right about it? Uh-huh. But I would like to submit to you on today. Amen. In the spirit of our text. Amen. To follow the leader. Ain't God a good God? It is good when God gives you Godly leaders. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. Because there are so many false and ungodly leaders out here. Ain't God a good God? Amen. So don't follow the world. Don't follow society. And surely say, don't follow Satan. Am I right about it? Uh-huh. For all these are willing, blind leaders. Am I right about it? Amen. In the things that pertain to God. Uh-huh. And and everybody knows that according to Matthew 5 and Luke 6 that if the blind lead the blind, then everybody going in the ditch. Am I right about it? Uh-huh. Somebody shout glory. Uh-huh. But in this text today, we have a leader of leaders. Amen. For our example. Ladies and gentlemen, Joshua, the son of Nun. Amen. The, the name Joshua is a personal name meaning Yahweh, amen, or the Lord God delivered. Ain't God a good God? Amen. The Hebrew variations of Joshua is Oshea, amen, and Hosea. But in the New Testament, it is the equivalent, equivalent of the name Jesus itself. Ain't God a good God? Can you imagine that? Uh-huh. He was born in Egypt during the time of Israel, amen, when they were enslaved to Egypt under the Pharaoh. Uh-huh, he was a member of the tribe of Ephraim. Amen, the important tribe that later formed the heart of the northern kingdom of Israel. 
Amen. And everybody knows that the southern kingdom is Judah. And God is God. Ladies and gentlemen, Joshua first appeared during the battle with the Amalekites. During the desert travels. Amen. And he was Moses' general. Amen. Yeah. Uh-huh. Who led the truth. Yeah. Uh-huh. In actual fight. Amen. While Aaron and her held up Moses' hand. Ain't God to God. Ladies and gentlemen, Joshua was Moses' servant. Amen. And he was on the mountaintop when Moses received the law of God. Amen. And he was also one of the twelve spies that Moses sent to investigate or spy out the land of Canaan, which is the promised land. Ain't God to God. Uh huh. But only he and Caleb came back with a positive scout report saying, let us take the city at once. Amen. In other words, let us take it immediately. Amen. Despite the known opposition. Ain't God a good God. Uh-huh. Of all the adults. Amen. Living at the time, at that time, only two of them, Joshua and Caleb. Amen. Were allowed to live. Amen. Uh, to enter the land of Canaan, which is the promised land. Ain't God a good God. Uh huh, and most of the others died, amen, in the wilderness through unbelief. Ain't God a good God? And so, ladies and gentlemen, the Lord chose Joshua, uh huh, to be Moses' successor long before Moses' death. Uh huh, Joshua was a military leader, a political leader, and he was a spiritual leader. Ain't God a good God? What are you saying, bro? I'm trying to let you know that God knows how to pick him. Ain't God your God. He was a triple threat. He was a military leader. Somebody shout glory. He was a political leader. Thank you, Jesus. And he was also a, more importantly, a spiritual leader. Ain't God a triple threat. Ain't God your God knows how to be. Ain't God your God. Glory, hallelujah. He was, uh huh, quiet and unassuming. And sometimes people think that just because you don't talk a lot, or just because you're quiet, amen, that you cannot be effective. But I believe a good leader, amen, knows how to study to be quiet, but when it's time to say something, they got something worth saying. Ain't God a God. Amen, he was quiet and unassuming, but he was not intimidated. I hung by his responsibilities on the task that lay before him. Ain't God a good God. Y'all listen to me. He was a battle genius. Uh huh. Particularly in the areas of careful planning, strategy, and execution. Amen. Here again, the triple threat. Somebody shout glory. Uh huh. He was capable. Amen. Uh, he was a capable administrator. Amen. For the nation. And he was an effective, uh, amen, in maintaining harmony and promoting unity among the people. And see, a good leader, amen, knows how, amen, to unite instead of divide. Ain't God a good God. To God be the glory. He was a spokesman to the people. Amen. And uh, he was a spokesman for the Lord. And he communicated the Lord's will. Amen. And the Lord's message like Moses. What are you trying to say, bro, without finishing? I'm trying to say that if you are in your church and the Lord has given you an effective leader, then you ought to follow. Am I right about it? You ought to follow the leader because they are in touch, amen, with the Lord's heart for that fellowship. Am I right about it? Ain't God a good God? And yeah, so he was Moses' spokesman to the people, amen, and the Lord's messenger, amen, just like Moses was before him. And he was the leader God used to lead the children of Israel into the promised land, and amen, as well as settlement or division of the land among the various tribes. What are you trying? I'm trying to say before I even get to the text, how are you going to have a leader, amen, at that time? Amen. That says, I'm going to come to church. I'm going to preach and teach. Amen. But I will not require my own kids to come to church. Am I right about it? I will not require my family to follow me as I follow Christ. But I want to lead people, but I can't even leave my own house. I'm 
get there. Amen. Amen. To God be good. Because you ought to follow your leader. And if you have a leader that you can't follow, you ought not be following. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Uh, and so in this text today, we're wrapping it up. Amen. As Joshua has now gotten up there in age. Amen. And, and in experience. Amen. He addresses the nation of Israel. Verse 14 says, Now therefore, fear the Lord. Everybody knows that the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and destruction. Am, am, am I right about it? Amen. He says, Now therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. In other words, respect and honor God above everybody and everything else. Am I right about it? Amen. And serve him in sincerity and in truth. Your service to the Lord and to his people, amen, ought to be at the forefront of your cooperation. Thank God and to God. Amen. And he says, put away the strange gods. Amen. Put away the gods which your father served that were on the other side, amen, uh, of the flood and in Egypt. Uh-huh. These false, these idol gods. Amen. Today, we have false and idol gods that are not made of statues. But they are made of people. They are made of amusement. Things that we put before God. And the Bible says, Thou shalt have no other God before me. Am I right about it? Glory, hallelujah. And he says, And if it seems evil unto you. In other words, if it seems out of the norm, if it seems something too hard for you to bear, Amen. If this thing is something, amen, that uh, uh, you just can't bring yourself to do. He said, if it seems evil up to you or inconvenient to you to serve the Lord. He said, choose you this day whom you will serve. Am I right about it? Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, he said, all the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. He said, but as for me, yeah, and my house, he's the leader now, and he's telling them what they ought to do. He said, as for me and my house, he said, we will serve the Lord. Am I right about it? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A definitive statement from a godly and distinguished leader. Choose who you're going to follow and serve. But let me tell you, he says, who I'm following and who I'm serving. He says that uh, I'm going to serve the Lord. The people, ladies and gentlemen, were stuck on Paul. P-A-U-S-E. Paul. You know how to take a call? You can play. You can rewind. You can fast forward. Or you can pause. Am I right about it? These people were stuck on pause. But Joshua was getting them ready to continue. Thank God and God. He was committed to obeying and serving God. He was all about obedience. Well, it was conquering enemies or settling conquered lands. Amen. People are required to do things God's way. Am I right about it? So while on pause, you're going, you're not going forward. Amen. In a productive manner. Uh -huh. And you feel like, amen, you're still holding on. That's where some of us are. Am I right about it? Amen. You're not going forward. Amen. You feel like you're holding on. You don't feel like you're going back. But you got to be careful because after so much time of, listen to this word, inactivity, or not producing, what have we produced in Christ lately? Huh? What have we done to promote the kingdom of God? What are we doing to build up or edify the body of Christ or even ourselves? Inactivity. Uh huh. Our minds become dull because we're always on the TV or always on the phone or always fraternizing with the world. Am I right about it? Inactivity, not producing. Amen. Uh-huh. And if we're not producing, 
we automatically, listen to this, regress. Or lose what we once had. But I'm about to wrap it up. But in chapter 23, I want to help you out to help me out. But in chapter 23 is a reminder. Somebody shout reminder. I told you, reminder was secondary. Amen. Uh, to the theme of this message. Hey, God, hey, God. It is a reminder to Israel of what the Lord, listen to this, because it's going to help you. A reminder to Israel of what the Lord had, had, or has already done for them. Am I right about that? The Bible says it came to pass a long time after the Lord had given Israel rest from all their enemies. Amen. And, uh, and, the, and uh, all around about them that Joshua waxed old and stricken in age. He was old now. And Joshua called for Israel, for all the elders and the, the, the judges and the heads and the officers and said unto them, I am old and well stricken in age. He said, ye have seen all that the Lord your God has done unto all these nations for you. And for the Lord your God has fought for you. Uh, am I right about Every now and then, amen, when you're getting ready to continue, amen, yeah, uh-huh, you won't have to be able to tell the Lord, take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first received you. The songwriter said, I feel that I'm so far from you, Lord. But I still hear you calling me, Lord. Those simple things that I once knew, to remember that the memories are drawing me. I must confess that I've been blessed. Is anybody can confess that on that? But yet my soul's not satisfied. He said, renew my faith. I hard restore my joy. And then try my weeping out. But I've tried so hard to make it alone. I need your help just to make it home. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first received you. I'm wrapping it up. Give the Lord a hand clap for you. Getting ready to continue. And sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, You have to go back before you can go forward. While getting ready to continue. Is that alright? All right. Sometimes you need a reminder. And God is a God. Amen. I heard the nightingale say, those things that I love, I hold dear to my heart. I just borrow they not mine at all. Uh-huh. Jesus only let me use them to brighten up my life. So remind me remind me dear Lord. Is that alright? He goes on and says nothing good that I done. Who the Lord I don't deserve God's own son. Is that alright? I'm not worthy of the nails in your hands. Is that alright? But yet he chose the road to Calvary to die in my state. Uh-huh. Why he loves me? Uh-huh. I just can't, I just don't understand. Is that all right? So roll back the curtain of memory now and then. Lord, show me where you brought me from and where I could be. Is that all right? Remember, somebody shout remember. Remember, I'm human. Lord, a human. They forget. So remind me, remind me, dear Lord, 
Amen. 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 So as you get ready to continue, amen, your work for the Lord. Uh-huh. What it is that will motivate you is to be able to look back, amen, and see and remember what the Lord has already done. Is that all right? I got to get ready to go to my seat, amen. But while getting ready to continue, sometimes you have to look back. And that's why I like what Luther said. And I'll take this thing on up. I got to get ready to leave. But Luther said, looking back, over my life, I can see how far I've come. He said, I have had some cloudy days and some, I thank God and hallelujah. Amen. But the Lord has brought me from a mighty long way. Is that all right? He said, I've been up, and yes, I have. And I've been down, but you never left me. Thank God you were always around. You stood by me through thick and thin. Is that all right? You glory, hallelujah. I can truly say that you've been my closest friend. Is that all right? Get ready to continue. Lord, I know you've been so good to me. Oh, Lord, you've been good. Lord, I know you've been so good to me. You've been so good. I just I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I thank you, Lord. Because you've been so good to me. And then I rock. As you embark, amen, on the rest of your journey, and while you're stuck on pause, while you've been inactive, and while you've been not productive, if you want to get fired up, if you want to get inspired, maybe you ought to do what Luther said. Maybe you ought to look back on your life and see what the Lord has already done. When I was down and I couldn't see my way, you still be and Lord, you made a way. Ain't that all right? And the Lord of Hollywood, when I was lost, amen, and couldn't see the light, you stepped in, Lord, and you made my pathway right. Lord, I know you've been so good to me. Lord, I know you've been good. Lord, I know you've been so good to me. And I just want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. Because you did have so good to me. Is that all right? We're getting ready to continue in the year of 2023. Is that all right? God has blessed us to go out of 22 and to step in to 23. He did have to do it. But I thank God that he did it anyway. And now he has blessed us to go through January. And now we're in February. Ain't God to go. So at time, we get ready to continue to do the thing that the Lord would have us to do. You got to do like a Joshua thing. Look back over your life and see what the Lord has already done. I'm about to go to my seat. But I want to say this to Bam. Bam. Somebody shout yeah. Bam. Shout yeah. Bam. Shout yeah. Bam. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, we know coming into 2023, we have great aspirations for this year. Taking the city for the kingdom of God. Ain't going to go. But then it looks like that from when we got into this year, things began to happen. First of all, we came to serve. And then only to, only to discover some type of gas smell in the building so that we couldn't have a real church that day. Ain't going to go. But looking back, we see that the Lord worked that out. Ain't going to go. 
So from there, we got ready to contend. Ain't time to go. And so now, so now, so now, so now, we look out and we see how that sickness, and they have touched the body of man. A different one, and they get it sick and have to be a hospitalized. Ain't God to go. And never let's look back and see what the Lord has done. What I was getting ready to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, when we were in school, when you came to your homeroom, I'm going to my seat, but I got to make this point. Uh, when we were in our homeroom, our teachers were marked us according to our tendency, either present or after. Am I right about it? If you were there, what did you say? Ain't God to go. And if you were not there, they will announce you what? Ain't God to go. So as I look out among the congregation, I see the various ones who was hospitalized. Ain't God to go. And then here, they were in the hospital. They had to say, when the road was called, a bitch they had to say, a H for hospital. Ain't that all right? Uh, while well, you were in Greenville, huh? is that all right? Huh? They had Mrs. L huh? had to say, H huh? for hospital, huh? while she was in huh? Little Washington, huh? ain't God in the dark. Huh? Deacon Brown huh? had to say, H huh? for hospital, huh? or while he was in huh? a man's violent, huh? or now ECU healthcare, huh? is that all right? Huh? The Lord of Hollywood, huh? a rebel boom, huh? a man was down, huh? a poor man, huh? And then he had to say, I ain't child, not for hospital, uh, but ain't child for home. Ain't child you know, ain't that hardly, but I'm so glad on today. I know I missed somebody. I'll turn you, and man, they got sick also. And there was an ain't child for hospital, but I'm so glad that I got a new back. And then we call a roll, and we call a roll, and then when I call Vince's name, a bitch will have to say, our church ain't gonna get gone. But I was in the hospital, but now I came home, and now I'm at church. Mrs. L can say my age is not for hospital, but it is for home. Ain't gonna get gone. Tony can say, no more age for hospital, but now I'm home. Deacon Brown can say, no more age for hospital. I did win home, but now mark me. Church today, ain't calling it God. A rebel moon, and then it was at the house. But the Lord said they brought you back to see for church. Ain't calling it God. So when we call the road, and we look at everybody around here, look at Mother Lady, and then for all that she's gone through, she was in the hospital ahead of the H, but now she has an H for home. But God allowed her to have a seat for church, and then one one time. But I'm so glad that even though, and then the H may stand stand for hospice, but I'm so glad that for her, and then I'm so glad that she can also, and then be marked in the hands of the Lord, because, and then she's not going anywhere, and she's not going anywhere until the Lord get it. So as we get ready to contend, we can see that the law has brought us from a mighty long way and brought us all the way. I gotta go to my seat. Somebody shout glory. If you never hear me preach again, just know my heart is fixed. My mind is made up. I've got to be. I'm gonna be. Can't nobody stop me from being ready. From being ready. From being ready. When did Jesus come? Be a baby. And I hope the body of Christ is lost. We may have been on pause in certain areas of our lives, but by the grace of God, we're getting ready to continue. And we're going to have a banner year in 2023. Am I right about it? Because while the devil is missing, the Lord is still blessed. Am I right about it? Yeah. 
healing and the blessing business. So from today, we must realize or decide where we're going from here. Are we getting ready to continue in the things of God? Or are we going to continue in inactivity and being in pause? I don't know about you, but I'm ready. I'm ready. Amen. Prime and pause to do the will of God and to do the work of God. I just wish I had some people in there that were willing to come with me. Amen. As we survey the territory. And do what the law will have this local assembly yes. to do and be about. Amen. Bam, TTC. Amen. 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 The word of God has been preached. Is there anybody in this house or someone listening to me online who wants to give your life, give your heart to Jesus? Now is your time. Today is your day. Will you come to make Jesus the law of your life? You know where you are. You know if you're stuck on pause. You don't want to go back, but you can't go forward. Jesus will be your leader. I like to put it like this right here. With Jesus ahead of me, God behind me, grace on one side, mercy on the other side, and the Holy Ghost on the inside. I can't lose with the stuff I use. Jesus will take you and make something beautiful out of your life. I don't regret one day that I've been in Christ. The Bible says, therefore, if any man, woman, boy, or girl, be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. If you want to become a new creature, a new creation, you want to be born again, will you come? You're listening to me. Amen. You want to give your life to Jesus. Pray this prayer with me. Amen. To God be the glory. Bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, praise him, praise him. Where you come? Jesus has his arms stretched wide open, saying, Come unto me, all ye that lay and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You're listening to me online. You want to give your life to Jesus. Pray this prayer with me, all of you in the building. If you want to give your life to Jesus, or you want to rededicate your life to the Lord. Now yeah, just have If you are someone that says, I'm not saved, I want to be, but I'm not. I'm going to be, but I'm not. But I need a church home. And you think that born again ministry is the place for you. You are welcome also to come. Amen. Jesus is coming. Sometimes you can start out with church membership. And after a while, give your life to Jesus through salvation. Will you come? For those who want to give your life to Jesus, pray this prayer with me, Father God in heaven, in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I come before you today, Lord, recognizing I am a sinner in need of salvation. I believe in you, Father. I believe in your Son, Jesus Christ. I believe that He died on the cross for my sins. I believe that you raised Him from the dead for my justification. The Lord, come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins. Make me a new creature. Based on your word, I confess you with my, my, my mind. And I believe you in my heart. I make you the Lord, the Savior, and the Master of my life. And based on your word and my profession, I want to thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Anybody who sincerely prays that prayer, you are now a child of God, born again in the family of God. I encourage you now to find your church. Amen. To join fellowship with like-minded saints. That you may be able to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. 
We invite you to go again ministry to the Triumph Church, located at 4779 NC Highway 33 Northwest, in the city of Tarboro, North Carolina, where the word of God is preached, the love of God is on display, and the name of Jesus is glorified. Amen. We thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful and wonderful rest of the day. But by way of reminder, the invitation, the word is preached, the invitation is extended. If you didn't come, let the record show that if you died in sin, your soul be lost. Do not be the fall of God's strong, nor born again ministry. But you will have to bear your own shame and blame. God will still be glorified. Have a beautiful day. God bless you. Let's give the Lord a hand down.